just a little bit. And we have to go back to the Lord and say, God, holy, worthy, give me a fresh revelation of you. Bring my heart back on track. Let me be red hot for you. I don't want to be lukewarm. I don't want to be status quo. But Lord, I want all that you have for me. So even as we stray, the Lord is faithful to leave the 99 and go after the one. Even as the prodigal son in Luke 15 took a face walk on God, what did the father do? He ran to meet him. He embraced him. He put a robe on his back, a ring on his hand. He gave him back the authority. He kissed him and welcomed him back home, and he threw a gigantic party. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because God celebrates one person whose heart and life has drifted away and they've come back on track. He celebrates that person because he desires, through the way that he created, through the cross, that you would have a knowing of who he is. That it would take over your life, that you would say, God. as Paul, I may know him. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Wow. Not mere information. We need to be informed about God. We need to study to show ourselves approved. But there's nothing like being well acquainted with him. Not just having information about him. Let us not be content with purely intellectual knowledge of God or the facts it presents concerning God without a personal, intimate experience with who he is. Yes. What people need more than anything else is an overflow of someone who's really gotten into the Holy of Holies and really got the touch of God on their lives. I've met so many South African pastors, South African people that have so much in God. I've been so blessed when I came to your country last October. I thought I was going to come and, and bless the people perhaps a little. But I was the one who left more blessed. I was the one who left blessed because of your humility, because of your love for God, because of everything that God has done in you. I remember I went way up into almost the Mozambique border with Pastor Timothy. And that man laid his hand on my head and imparted the spiritual deep things of God into me. And I could feel the love of God all over me. And I left the Mozambique border changed, wanting to know God more like my Pastor Timothy knew God. You see, we all have something to share with each other. We all have something to share. We all have something to reveal about the heart of God. And if we'll open our hearts during this conference, as we begin to share one with another, as I begin to share with you, as you begin to share with me, as you begin to share with each other, you will grab a hold of a new revelation of God and you will have a fresh yearning in your heart. It will burn like a hot fire inside of you to really know God in a greater way. Amen. Amen.